Well, Steve White Trek Boy 89 vs. Steve Valtz 89. Well, apparently there is some confusion about the universes and timelines of the current Star Trek. Now, I'm fairly clear about all this, but some other people seem to be a bit confused. Now, there are a few things that are in contention, like the copyright, uh, the different um, Star Trek productions, the movies, the New Trek TV series, the original TV series, in different universes with different copyrights, or are they all the same universe? There are people that claim they are, people that claim they aren't. I'm not necessarily getting into that debate at the moment. I mean, I firmly believe um, that um, the Prime Universe is a separate universe that was made for the Kelvin um, films, and that Discovery is in its own third universe that is basically just, you know, a rip-off of the Kelvin universe, um, but still separate from the original canon universe. But a lot of fans will, will argue, you know, till they're blue in the face that that's not the case. Um, now, so far as the timelines, that's a whole different argument. It's firmly established, regardless of if it's in the original canon universe or the prime universe, or if they're the same thing or different, that there is a new timeline that was created by the Kelvin in the Star Trek um, JJ movies. So there's no question there. That's why everything looks different. They had the freedom to do anything they wanted. That was a good idea. It worked. I watched those films like 20 times each in the cinema, no joke. And even though there were action movies and not you know, Star Trek films and not science fiction films, I still enjoyed them, wanted to encourage them, and I was hoping we'd get a more serious Star Trek series out of them. Um, so there's that. Now, so far as um, Discovery. Discovery didn't make any sense from the beginning, from the first shot of the Klingons, which we were lied to. We were, we were told they were a different sect of ancient Klingons that had been separate for for tens of generations or something, and that's why they were different from the other Klingons. And then as we watched the show, being lied to and lulled into a false sense of security, we actually saw that they were actually, that's what Klingons are supposed to look like and have always looked like, and apparently we were just mistaken when we watched Star Trek, the original series, Next Generation, Jesus 9, Voyager, Enterprise. Those Klingons, they, they, they would never look like that. They look like this, and being gaslit, and that was just insulting. Um, and, um, like I said, Discovery's always looked different and been clearly in a different universe. Now, in the second, I think the second season, um, they had the Red Angel, who was Burnham's mother in a time suit, a magic Iron Man time suit, that basically she was going back in time over and over again to try and change history. So that could explain a multitude of different timelines that Discovery could be set in because of all the time incursions. So I just was like, you know what, they're in a different universe, but even if they don't want to acknowledge that, they're clearly in a different timeline, which would sort of create the same sort of reality of it being a totally different universe timeline. I've weighed they're different, so it's okay. They don't want to admit it's a different universe because they want to sell it as all the same Star Trek universe and not a multiverse at this point because the multiverses have not been well received in Marvel and stuff like that. Fine. The timeline explains it. I'm willing to compromise and say, okay, different timeline um, and accept that because it explains everything anyway. But then Akiva Goldsman comes out because um, during Tomorrow, 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 Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, however many Tomorrows are in that title, um, they established, clearly established, um, what they had actually established in the first episode. They showed today's um, politics and, um, div um, you know, div division or whatever that we've got in today's culture as leading into the, um, the Third World War and the eugenics wars, and that that didn't happen till later because... Um, when they wrote the original Star Trek, they set it 30 years in the future, and that seemed a long way away in the 90s. They weren't expecting Star Trek to be in production. Now they explained it through novels and found ways to explain through history how Khan was able to control and rule all these sort of um, countries without us really knowing. Um, and I thought they did that fine. No, I, was, I accepted that. I'm like, that's fine. Because um, I wanted to think of Star Trek as our future, but some people are saying it's a different future. It was never meant to be our future. But um, I think it was... And during the original series, they took a diversion from that. And I always felt like that could have been explained through just um, propaganda on the government side, sort of hiding something that happened. Um, but, um, yeah. Either way, they showed in the first episode that um, the eugenics wars hadn't happened yet and that there was something, there was, they were basically in a different timeline. And then in Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, they actually showed, for sure, a Romulan came back from the future to try and change... The, the Khan and the eugenics wars to alter the Federation's future so they wouldn't be the enemy that um, you know the Romans had to deal with in the future. 
So this clearly established at least one alternate timeline that Discovery Discovery era show was in um, because it was well before Discovery, hundreds of years before Discovery. So everything in Discovery and Strange New Worlds and Picard, I believe, was in the same alternate timeline. And that all made sense, but yet some people are denying this. They are claiming that's not. And part of the reason, aside from there's something wrong with them, is that Akiva Goldsman came out and said, oh, no, 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 no. You, you can play with the timelines a little bit and it doesn't actually create a new timeline. I'm like, that's not how it works. And moving a war 50 years into the future that decimated the whole planet is not a little thing. So <laughs> there's no way that Discovery and Stranger Worlds are not happening in a new timeline. And like I said, that's a fine enough compromise to explain all the differences without acknowledging that it's actually a different universe and that it's set in a multiverse. But um, some fans still are in denial of this, and I do not understand. 